Here you go. Check this one. 1979, early 79. Still got the round uh, front end and it's a um, HJ45. So it's got the H engine. And we've uh, met this gentleman today. He's come in to talk about some weather strips, some brand new parts. Being the old H, some parts you can't get anymore. We're also looking at some uh, little bits and bobs for him there. Uh, it's come from Kilcoy, Kilcoy in Queensland. It's not too far away from here. It's lived many years there, unknown how many previous owners, but the current owner is the one that's tidied it up over the last few years. Well, he's had it for seven years and he's tidied it up. Um, came from, the publican had it before him out of Kilcoy and it was sitting in a paddock for nine years, just rotten away. So he went and offered him a few dollars and this is what it's transformed to now. He's done a, a lovely job. The paint on it's not that old. I see a few new weather strips on there, um, a few missing, so that's what we're talking about. Check out, something's not right here, is it? So in 1979, they definitely did not have these doors, but it's, um, uh, this is more 1973 or earlier door. And um, at least you know they fit. They've, um, the cab itself's all the same, so they um, plumb up. You've got to change a few things, um, a striker wise and how they shut, but they work a treat. On the outside of this one, she's got it's very, um, it's just a little tilly. It's got some more uh, modern sun raisers on there, an old fabricated bull bar. I kind of dig the Donaldson on the other side. He's integrated the panels. Um, instead of just going in the one panel, he's integrated the bonnet as well to close over the Donaldson and it's color coded it all and it's come up really nice. Uh, underneath your fuel tank now, it's a lot bigger. I um, asked how many litres, wasn't sure, but it's a hell of a lot bigger than what Toyota was offering under the seat. So um, he can actually drive a little bit further in the old H motor. And yeah, There's a few more mods inside, so we'll go and have a quick closer look uh, to what's happened to this one since the uh, new owners owned it. So she's pretty sweet, pretty basic in here. Uh, when I look at a few things for its period, I notice there's, um, there's a few things going on that's not 1979 as uh, suggested so i'd say to resto this one uh, we do what we got to get parts where we've got to and uh, a lot of times they marry up so it's it's quite easily done uh, you'll notice the gear stick lever is a five speed so he's put that in there and it makes a world of difference when you're poking along the highway and this is more of a road vehicle this gentleman owns uh, another 1970 he owns some holdens he's into his cars it's, uh, this one's not for climbing mountains, so it probably lives inside. It's got the, the carpeted floor and um, the seats have been reupholstered over the year, years. Uh, the roof is the only fiberglass part on this car. It's got the, um, the replacement uh, panel. Otherwise, she's all steel in here. Someone has, um, I stole then, I was gonna say butchered the dash, but someone's uh, replaced the dash with um, their own idea and it's got um, your water, your oil gauge and they've fabbed that up there. That was pre this owner so um, he's left that in there because you don't know how much they've cut out behind that as well so when it ain't broke just leave it alone. Otherwise it's pretty stocko in here. There's, um, there's a stereo, there's no UHF, there's um, no overhead console. It's just a little tilly, you can tell. It's um, just a little runabout tilly. And um, it's pretty cool though, it's back on the road. So that's the main thing about that. So this one's just a short little walk around of a cool truck that rocked up into the Mr. Land Cruiser yard. But I'll quickly say we've got a, a battery, uh, dual batteries outside the vehicle on either side. Keep them out of the road and the gentleman's just put new extractors and new exhaust system on this one so uh, she's breathing nice and healthy otherwise hj 45 check her out